Hey y'all and welcome to How Do You Cook Back to Basics. On today's video, I will be sharing with you four different super hearty and delicious crock pot meals. And every single one of these include smoked sausage. You are gonna love these recipes. So let's get started. First off is our smoked sausage stew. If you think you're gonna have leftovers, think again because it is that good. You'll need four to five potatoes. Peel those potatoes and cube those into bite-sized pieces. Now, once these are done, go ahead and place them in a colander and give them a really good final rinse. We have here one ring of smoked sausage. Now this smoked sausage is cooked all the way through so there's no cooking beforehand. Here I am cutting my smoked sausage into small bite-sized diagonal pieces. You can cut this into any size you want, but this is my preference for this recipe. Now get yourself a small to medium sized onion and chop that up and set that over to the side. To our greased crock pot, we're adding our potatoes to the bottom and some salt and pepper on top. Now grab yourself two cans of cut green beans. Any brand will do. Now pour those green beans on top of those potatoes with water and all and spread those out as even as you can. Now we're adding our smoked sausage that we sliced up in the beginning and our onion on top of our smoked sausage. Now, if you feel like this is too much onion, you don't have to add it all, y'all. Go ahead and add a little bit more salt and pepper to the top and four teaspoons of butter. Now, once that's done, go ahead and close your crock pot and cook on low for four hours or until your potatoes are done. Now on to our smoky sausage hobo dinner. This dinner right here is super fun to make and so delicious. Dice up about five potatoes into some bite-sized pieces and slice up one medium onion. Slice up one sausage ring into two inch pieces. Now coarsely chop one head of cabbage and set that over to the side. To our greased crock pot, go ahead and add your potatoes to the bottom and some pepper and some salt. Now we're adding some Italian seasonings, some crushed red pepper flakes, some garlic powder, and onion powder. Last but not least, we're adding some cayenne pepper. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, if you don't like the heat. You can actually omit the cayenne and the red pepper flakes if you do not like that. We have one 16 ounce bag of baby carrots. Now go ahead and add your sliced onion to the top and another round of seasonings. Now add your head of cabbage to the top, season one more time, and then add your smoked sausage. And go ahead and add one half cup of water to the bottom of your crock pot. Close your lid and cook on high for four hours or low for six to eight hours. Now on to our kielbasa soup. This soup is perfect for those chilly fall or winter nights. You're gonna love this one, y'all. Dice up about five potatoes and one medium onion. Now go ahead and add that to our greased crock pot. And stir that up just a bit. 
Grab yourself two rings of kielbasa and slice those up into some bite-sized pieces and add that to your potatoes and onion. Give that a really good stir. Here I have one 32 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables. You're gonna add half of this to your crock pot. Now the reason why I'm showing you the big bag is because I could not find the, the small one pound bag. Now we're adding a one six ounce can of tomato paste. This is the basil, garlic, and oregano tomato paste. Now we have one can of Rotel. Go ahead and add that entire can to your crock pot. Now add some pepper and some salt to taste. Now add water to your crock pot. You can actually use beef broth or chicken broth if you choose to use that instead. Now after you add the water or whatever you choose, go ahead and give that a really good stir and taste your soup. If you feel like your soup needs more seasoning, more water, more anything, go ahead and add that now. So I decided to go ahead and put some more pepper and salt in our soup, some Italian seasonings, and some crushed red pepper flakes. Now give this a really good stir. Close your crock pot lid and heat on high for six hours or low for 10 to 12 hours. I serve this up with some delicious fried cornbread fritters. Last but not least, we have our smoky sausage dinner. This recipe is one of the easiest recipes that you can find for a delicious smoked sausage dinner. Now here I have about 10 small potatoes that I've quartered up and one ring of smoked sausage that I cut into one to two inch slices. To your greased crock pot, go ahead and add your potatoes, some salt and pepper, and some onion powder. So here we have two cans of French style green beans. Go ahead and add one can with the juice in your crock pot and drain the juice from one of your cans and add that also. Go ahead and add your smoked sausage and your salt, pepper, and onion powder to the top. Close your lid and cook on high for approximately four hours or until your potatoes are nice and tender. So which one of these crock pot meals do you think you will love the most? Let me know down in the comment section below because I would love to know. I hope you all enjoyed this episode on how do you cook back to basics. And if you did, please hit that like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Until next time, y'all. Bye-bye now.